In a previously released CNN documentary featuring the First Lady, a shocking revelation came to light about Melania Trump's secrets concerning her fashion choices and her go-to brands when she shops for her clothes. Apparently, most designers are completely unwilling to have her wear their fashion and collaborate with her. These designers also refuse to be associated with her in any way and have started to boycott fashion trends that she has previously worn. Because of this, Mrs. Trump is faced with the task of shopping for her clothes on Lee Nystad. Before landing the title of First Lady when her infamous husband, Donald Trump, was elected in office, Melania had been working as a fashion model. She used to walk for some of the biggest and most famous fashion brands such as Michael Kors and Ali Saab. But today, most designers would rather be caught dead than be seen promoting a campaign or any of their new clothing collections on Melania. These fashion designers have all been running in the opposite direction from the First Lady. And this is reportedly due to their opposition to President Trump's outrageous political views and policies. This is undoubtedly a heartbreaking thing for a former model as she can no longer enjoy the things she is most passionate about in fashion because of these brands' unwillingness to be implicated as supporters or even tolerators of her husband. However the First Lady has still been able to make do with some other fashion options and has managed to stun in the chic outfits she has worn to various state affairs or international and diplomatic visits. Robin Givhan, a fashion critic who was also featured in the same CNN special mentioned above, said that with the previous First Ladies such as Mrs. Michelle Obama and Mrs. Laura Bush, designers would relentlessly offer to design outfits exclusively for the First Lady. They all sought to make fashion statements with the stunning first ladies as their muses. But, that is not the case with Melania. For designers are less than willing to devote their craft to her, since they do not support the current administration and what it stands for. This has apparently taken a toll on the former model, and she has reportedly gotten used to online shopping for her fashion necessities. Insiders also claim that she has no intentions of running after these brands and will wear what she wants to wear and make a statement out of it, all the while leaving those unwelcoming fashion names out of the equation. Besides this, Melania had also, some time back in 2017, taken on her own stylist, her Pierre, who has been connected with the famous fashion houses of Oscar de la Rena as well as Carolina Herrera in the past. The French designer freelances for clients and has been Melania's consultant since he dressed her for President Trump's inauguration. He has been the person responsible for doing the first ladies in store shopping at various designers shops like Saks, Dior, Bergdorf, and Michael Kurz. He said the challenge that he faces is mostly centered on the fact that he cannot reveal what the outfits are for. He then makes a point of asking whether the items he selects have been on the red carpet or whether someone of stature has already worn it. So, despite the limitations that the First Lady has had to work with, she has pretty much worked out very well how she can get her hands on the impressive fashion style she wears. She has gotten by despite the challenges she had been facing, and not too shabbily at that.